We support a lot of different things in Scotland. Uh, we have a scholarship trust, uh, which is part of the main trust, and this, this is under that part. And what we do is we support uh, young, very promising uh, athletes. So, for example, we will support a lot of uh, young people who are on the verges of the Scotland team in different sports. So we've got about 100 young people that we're supporting at that. Uh, we've supported a lot of uh, young athletes through to really to superstar status, like Sir Chris Hoy was one of uh, the people that we supported. So rugby is one of the, the one of the sports that we want to support. But the reason that we call it the McPhail Scholarship is in memory of one of our past um, presidents of the, the, the trust, and also uh, he was chairman of the company. So that's why it's called. It's in memory of John McPhail. So that's why it's called the McPhail Scholarship. We look specifically about players that we think are um, on the edge of, of really progressing and, and looking at ways that we can accelerate that development. You know, it's that opportunity to be exposed to you know a different culture. You know, probably the the toughest uh, rugby culture in the world, New Zealand. Um, being able to deal with uh, the challenges associated with that. You know, we've got you know a limited uh, player pool in Scotland, and sometimes our players um, you know get opportunities easier than they would do elsewhere. So part of the the thought process around the McPhail Scholarship is about you know, putting them in an environment where they need to really perform day in, day out, week in, week out, to gain the respect of, of, um, of others. Um, and as a result of that, what we've seen is that um, their individual performances have improved, they've grown as, as players both on and off the pitch, and then they, they come back more able and better suited to make an impact into the professional game in, in Scotland. And, you know, um, fortunately, we've had a number of, of players who have used, really used the, the scholarship as a springboard to, to professional international honours. You know, guys have already mentioned, such as you know, Grant Gilchrist, you know, John Bartley is our very first recipient, uh, you know, Johnny Gray, Roddy Grant, um, Sam Hidalgo Klein. So, you know, there's real evidence of, of it working both for the individual player, but probably as, if not more importantly, for Scottish rugby. I'd like to look at developing my set piece work and kind of working with the likes and of Owen Franks and some of the kind of high performance unit props out there and kind of seeing, seeing how different it is compared to out here and using, like, working with them and learning to pick up little bits of the set piece work and kind of bring back here and trying to aid my performance over here. What is it you're hoping to get from the experience from a lifestyle point of view? Um, just just kind of learning about myself, being away, I mean it's hard to kind of balance, it's hard to sometimes balance, you know, rugby with kind of like, like lifestyle and stuff, but I'm just learning to kind of live away from home and kind of obviously live with Ash and learning different stuff, you know, nutrition and recovery and stuff after games and stuff like that. Being away in a kind of a challenging environment, it'll be tough at times, but just to see what it can take. And it'll be really interesting actually, obviously playing in a completely different culture, um, playing with players that I've never played with before, coaches that I've never worked with before, so just really sort of intrigued and interested to to see how they do over there. Obviously, they're the best in the, in the world at, at rugby, so um, really excited and interested in what I'm going to learn out there and bring it back here.